What's up guys, I'm down here at the beach and this is How To Reap's lesson of the week, a show where we release two new surf tips every single week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel now. Uh, you can come and check me out on Instagram and YouTube as well, at Kale's Broccoli. But today we are talking surf coaching and big impact exercises to drastically improve your surfing in a short amount of time. I'm here with Mitchie. Mitchie's doing some filming and I've got a client out in the water going to catch some waves. And we're going to track his process throughout the course of this surf lesson. Let's get into it. Ew. In order to progress smoothly from a beginner surfer through the intermediate stages and all the way up to advanced, there are a lot of steps you need to go through. Unfortunately, budding surfers can't just skyrocket through these developmental necessities without putting in the hard work and time in the ocean. However, there are some big impact tools, tricks and hacks that can speed up your progress. Identifying hindrances to performance, whether it be equipment based, technique based or something totally unexpected, is a super important factor in ensuring this progress takes place. While surf coaching here in Sydney over the weekend, I had a great client who was being held back by a few things. The first thing, his takeoff. Okay, so we noticed that uh, Will was having some trouble organizing his takeoff and doing it in a coordinated fashion. So what we've done is break it down into two stages, a two stage pop up. Hopefully that way we can reset that process for him and, uh, and then build it back up into a fast one stage pop up. But this is sometimes what we have to do. We have to take a step back and go back to basics and sometimes break things down into segments to make it understandable and to make it applicable. I also instructed Will to ignore the open-faced waves for now. In order to maximize his session and his new takeoff strategy, I wanted him to catch just the white water for now. This approach liberated him to be less selective and to generate more opportunities to put our lesson into practice. Even though this is contradictory in a way and might seemingly represent a step back in progress, the end results were very obvious. Yes, yes, heaps better. That's good. We're making progress. What's the lesson here? Don't be afraid to break down various techniques into small segments. Yes, looking at things holistically is important, but sometimes taking a step back Breaking down and simplifying a process really helps to understand it and apply it. I mean, just check out the differences here.
A good takeoff requires a few key skills or factors. Number one is good arm strength. Without enough strength in your arms, you won't be able to push yourself up. I've seen numerous times where athletes come from different sports who are more nimble and they're able to perfect their takeoff faster than people who have been in the sport for a long time. Number two, good mobility. Essentially, a takeoff is like performing a fast burpee on an unstable surface. If you can't swing your leg through under your body from a lying position, then you'll probably find taking off very difficult. Number three, great core stability. Notice how the back is arched strongly in this example. This requires good engagement of the back torso muscles, but also the core to protect the spine and allow the simultaneous rise of the hips and swinging of the legs through. Practice this at home simply by piking on a Swiss ball and alternating with a strict push-up, keeping your elbows by your sides. So Will and I just had a talk about the board that he's riding and how it might have been suitable for him as a beginner to start with. However, what it's doing now is actually restricting his progression because the board literally cannot fit in the waves that we're riding today. It's only one foot, but it's a little bit steep, it's a little bit shallow, and unless he's gonna be taking off directly sideways, it's almost impossible for the board to actually go through a takeoff and go down the wave and come back up. It's just too difficult. So what we're going to work on is selecting and identifying a board that's more appropriate for him using our calculators that we've talked about in our videos. So really squashing that board down to enable him to duck dive and maybe bringing the volume back a little bit. As a beginner at around 100 kilos, he's sort of sitting at around a 70 litre ideal volume. But I think with some quick advancements, which I can see he has the potential for, we'd be able to squash that back to about 55 litres pretty quickly um, and certainly some good beginner fish boards do offer that sort of literage. Beginners are most often told to ride very long, very thick surfboards. I understand the need for this during the first two to three sessions, however after this normally these boards become redundant. The benefits offered in terms of stability, buoyancy and ease of catching waves are far outweighed by the detriments of sheer size, a lack of manoeuvrability and nimbleness in the water and on a wave. recommended that once technique is pretty solid, beginner surfers move to a fish shaped board to better enable them to control the board on a wave. As you'll see here, my client's board is too big and cumbersome and he is unable to control it once on the open face of the wave. I mean, sure, we've established that these types of boards are fine on whitewater, but we really want a board to be able to perform on the face because that is where all the fun happens in surfing.
squished down board, he would be able to be in control much more easily. And importantly, I'm not talking about shaving off half the volume from his longboard, which is enabling him to paddle and catch waves. I'm only talking about cutting it down by about one quarter, from 75 litres down to 55 litres or so, which still liberates him to catch waves easily and pop up. have it i hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for tuning in make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the like button let me know in the comments what else you'll want to see on the show and you can come and join me on instagram or youtube at kale's broccoli Ooh, the wind's coming up the storms are coming we're gonna go surfing <laughs> see you guys Yo.